This is our hit list of the top 5 best Japanese restaurants in Little Tokyo Makati and their specialties. Hope you enjoy! Serena Japanese Restaurant at Little Tokyo is considered to be the best Japanese restaurant in the Little Tokyo compound in Makati. It is a favorite amongst local Japanese and expats. Serena has also been listed on the meal guide as one of the best Japanese restaurants in Asia. Whether it be lunch or dinner, this full-service Japanese restaurant will impress with thick, fresh cuts of sashimi to yakitori, kushiyage, tempura, donburi, etc. With master sushi chef Ozeki-san at the helm, you're guaranteed an authentic Japanese meal that you will be returning for over the years. Highly recommended are the Kaizen Gozen lunch set, mixed sashimi, kushiyage, makimono kushiyaki, unaju, tendon, and salmon roll.
Izakaya Kikufuji is one of the oldest Japanese restaurants in Makati, located in the bustling Little Tokyo along Chino Rosis Avenue. For the past two decades, this restaurant has never ceased to be packed with Japanese nationals, which attests to its authenticity and quality throughout the years. Their lunch sets are served with appetizers, miso soup, rice, and fruits or iced coffee. Specialties are their fresh sashimi and sushi. Highly recommended are the goten mori, ikura salmon don, spicy salmon roll, and curry soba. Shinjuku Ramen is one of the oldest Japanese-owned ramen houses in Manila, having been in operation since the 90s. The original branch in Little Tokyo has been recently renovated in 2014 to provide more comfortable table seating for its guests as before it was catered towards single Japanese businessmen dining alone. Shinjuku Ramen has been a landmark in Little Tokyo for their consistent food which continues to reel in Japanese clients and ourselves for the best gyoza and signature Buta Kakuni ramen in town. Buta Kakuni is a Japanese style of braised pork belly originating in southern Japan's Nagasaki in Kyushu Island. What makes Buta Kakuni so delicious? It's tender, juicy chunks of pork belly that have been braised until tender and glazed in a braising liquid combination made from dashi, mirin, sugar, and soy sauce and Shinjuku makes it so well that it literally melts in your mouth.
gyoza has achieved legendary status in Manila for being so massive and juicy and makes an excellent standalone dish or an add-on to complement your ramen. And trust us, it's well worth the price if you are a die-hard gyoza fan. If you are looking for Japanese comfort food that won't burn a hole in your wallet, we have found the perfect spot at Yamazaki Japanese Ramen Restaurant and Grocery in Little Tokyo, owned by Sylvia Espiritu. Yamazaki is hands down the best value for money authentic Japanese casual dining restaurant in Makati for the past decade. They do not accept reservations so expect to wait in line daily for lunch and dinner as Japanese expats flock to this dual concept grocery and restaurant at the exterior of Little Tokyo Makati for their cheap yet highly satisfying shoyu ramen starting at 150 pesos and crispy gyoza for less than 100 pesos net. We also recommend their unadon, saikoro steak, chukadon, mabu tofu, katsu curry, hamburg curry, tonkotsu ramen, grilled salmon set, ebi fry, yasatame, and so much more. Take note that they also have a separately priced takeout menu that is even cheaper than the regular menu items. Yamazaki has a smoking section at the back catered towards Japanese clientele and serves cold San Miguel beer.
Kagura is the true home of the revered okonomiyaki, also known as the Japanese savory pancake or Japanese pizza, and considered Osaka soul food. This restaurant is one of the coziest and coolest restaurants in Little Tokyo, as there are only three tatami tables and a counter to watch the chefs, and is in most part decorated with Hanshin Tiger memorabilia, which is a hugely popular baseball team in Japan. Okonomiyaki is a Japanese savory pancake containing a variety of ingredients. The name is derived from the word okonomi, meaning what you like or what you want, and yaki meaning grilled or cooked. Okonomiyaki is mainly associated with the Kansai or Hiroshima areas of Japan, but is widely available throughout the country. Toppings and batters tend to vary according to region. For refreshments, start off with their complimentary cold tea as well as their plum wine. Kagura is the only okonomiyaki specialty restaurant in Manila and thus has a menu featuring a variety of okonomiyaki toppings as well as okonomiyaki with noodles, also known as the modern yaki. Kansai or Osaka-style okonomiyaki is the predominant version of the dish, found throughout most of Japan. The batter is made of flour, grated nagaimo, a type of yam, water or dashi, eggs and shredded cabbage, and usually contains other ingredients such as green onion, meat, generally thin pork belly, often mistaken for bacon, octopus, squid, shrimp, vegetables, konjac, mochi or cheese. In Osaka, the largest city in the Kansai region of Japan, where this dish is said to have originated, okonomiyaki is prepared much like a pancake. The batter and other ingredients are pan-fried on both sides on either a tepan or a pan using metal spatulas that are later used to slice the dish when it has finished cooking. Cooked okonomiyaki is topped with ingredients that include otafuku, okonomiyaki sauce, similar to Worcester sauce but thicker and sweeter. Eonori seaweed flakes, katsuoboshi bonito flakes, Japanese mayonnaise, and pickled ginger. We highly recommend the Okonomi Special with pork, squid, shrimp, egg, and cheese. It is a densely packed dish full of protein and flavors with a pleasuring gooiness from the cheese that will surely tickle your taste buds and make a heavy landing in your stomach.
the modern yaki version with noodles is great with the satisfyingly chewy grilled octopus. Think about it like a giant takoyaki. Make sure to order extra bonito flakes for aroma and texture. We couldn't help ourselves, but we also had to order their grilled squid or Ika Shogayaki with ginger soy sauce. This was also delicious. Kagura is open for lunch 11.30am to 2.30pm and for dinner 6pm to 10.30pm. They are closed only on Mondays. Isaribi Japanese Seafood Robata Grill Restaurant opened on October 16, 2015 by Mr. Tanisan at the Creekside Building on Amarsolo Avenue and is the newest Japanese restaurant in the Little Tokyo district of Makari. With the number of Japanese clientele dining at this restaurant, we immediately knew that a memorable food experience lay ahead of us amidst the bright and colorful interiors which pulled us in like a magnet. This modern Robata grill uses a table-side gas-powered grill and from the menu you can choose from a wide selection of fresh seafood. Highly recommended are the Sazae, Hamaguri, Hotate, and Kaisen Ahijo. Now this interactive dining experience begins as you cook the food yourself. Okay, finish it.
For appetizers, try their kawaebi karaage and their tempura mori, which had a crispy and light batter and are best paired with their plum wine or cold beer. Albert's Cheesesteak may have closed at the Power Plant Mall in Rockwell in 2014, but Southerners may rejoice as they have set up shop at the new Commerce Center Mall in Alabang. Owned by restaurateur Albert Cuenca, expect the same level of excellence that he applies to his steaks in the legendary Albert's Steak Room.